Hi, I'm Craig Mueller, Public Works Engineer with the City of Bellingham. 120 years ago, Padden Creek was diverted into an underground tunnel nearly a half mile long. This tunnel begins at 22nd Street near Old Fairhaven Parkway and runs underground for several blocks until it reaches the outflow near Fairhaven Park. Today a project is underway to reroute Padden Creek out of the tunnel and into the daylight. The new stream will restore fish habitat, reduce flooding, and improve water quality. The problems with the old tunnel begin at the inlet. The tunnel's limited water carrying capacity causes flooding problems both above and below the inlet affecting over 15 city blocks of residential housing. The problems persist as Padden Creek continues through the tunnel. Without natural structures, dirt, sediments, and other particulates have nowhere to settle, creating water quality problems downstream. At the outlet, several blocks away, the tunnel is a barrier to fish migrating upstream. The tunnel structure blocks the path of migrating salmon, reducing the number able to reach upstream spawning habitat. The construction project will reroute the stream, restoring the natural ecology of Padden Creek. Let's look at the new route for Padden Creek, beginning at the inlet, where waters from Lake Padden enter the tunnel. Near the inlet, a new stream channel will be created. The inlet will be modified to divert the water away from the tunnel and into the new stream channel. From the inlet, the stream flows west to 22nd Street, where a culvert will be built to allow the water to flow under 22nd Street and into the downstream portion of the creek. This portion of 22nd Street will be closed for about two months during construction. The new channel continues on, running parallel to Old Fairhaven Parkway until it reaches the new bridge built in 2014 by the Washington State Department of Transportation. Here the channel turns south, allowing the creek to flow under the bridge and toward the interurban trail. As the stream flows along the south side of Old Fairhaven Parkway, it will pass under the footbridge at the interurban trail rotary trailhead. As part of the project, this footbridge will be removed and replaced by an eight foot wide pedestrian bridge designed to go over the new stream. The creek continues on alongside the interurban trail. The new channel will follow the current drainage connecting with downstream waters here at the outlet. The original tunnel will remain in place, serving as a stormwater overflow with modified inlet and outlet to prevent fish from entering. Construction will begin in early June and all in-stream work will be completed by October 1st. This limited time is determined by the fish window, the time when migrating, spawning, or incubating fish are least likely to be within the project site and least likely to be impacted by the work. During construction, neighbors can expect trees and vegetation removed where the new channel will be created, excavation equipment and trucks in the construction area, closure of the interurban trail rotary trailhead off Old Fairhaven Parkway, closure of a portion of the interurban trail from the Fairhaven Park Trail to where the trail meets 18th and Clementine near the Padden Creek Apartments. Bike and foot traffic will be detoured during this time. Closure of 22nd Street for approximately two months during the construction and installation of the culvert. The final stage of the project is replanting and caring for the natural vegetation. Native trees and shrubs will be planted along the damaged areas and with time will grow back into a fully functioning and improved ecosystem. The cost of the construction phase is $2.8 million. Portions of the funding come from a State of Washington Department of Ecology Centennial Clean Water Grant and a low interest loan as part of the State Clean Water Revolving Fund. When finished, this project will allow Padden Creek to flow naturally through the project area on its way into Bellingham Bay restoring an important natural resource and protecting our water, our neighborhood, and our salmon. For more information, visit cob.org and search for Padden Creek Daylighting.